We now have a piece of state on our app component called this.state.logedIn to decide whether or not the user is currently logged in. So just to be clear one last time, the onAuthStateChange function, the, or, you know, the Fadero function right here, can be called at any point in time inside of our application. So if the user logs in and backs out and logs out 10 times in a row, our state is just going to keep on flipping back and forth. We will now use the same methodology as we used in the uh, login form to decide whether or not we want to show the login form or something that says like, you know, hey, you're currently signed in or whatever we want, might want to show. So we'll create a new helper function that will decide whether or not to show the login form or a button that allows the user to sign out. So first I'll make a helper function, which I'm going to call render content. And inside of here, we'll look at this.state.loggedIn. And if the user is currently logged in, then I will return a button tag that just says something like, you know, sign out. Actually, let's keep our terminology consistent. I'm going to say log out. Now, I haven't imported the button tag just yet. We'll do that in just a second. If the user is not logged in, we will return a different piece of JSX. We will return the login form itself. Finally, we will replace the login form down here with a call to render content. So we'll say this dot render content. So now at any given time, if the user is logged in, show a button to log out. Otherwise, allow them to sign in. That's it. That's all we want to do. So now I think the last thing we have to do is make sure that we import that button component. So I'll scroll back up to the top. Uh, we've already got an import statement from the common uh, folder right here. So I will also import our button component as well. Now, of course, the button component doesn't really do anything just yet. Like, you know, it's not logging us out or anything. But I think we're at a good enough spot to do a little bit of a test in the simulator. So I'm going to pop open the simulator. We'll refresh. Now, I'm still logged in from our previous se uh, session. This is like the magic of Firebase in practice right here. I was signed in already to our application, so as soon as I authenticate the app, our on auth state change callback kicks in, it flips logged in to true, and lo and behold, all of a sudden we get the logout button on the screen. So this is exactly what I want to have happen here. So I want to do something else here. I want to just refresh the scene really quick, and you'll notice, however, that when I first refresh it, we see the login form on the screen for just a you know half of a second there as Firebase syncs up with the remote data store and decides whether or not we are still signed in. So this on auth state change here, it's not instantaneous. It actually takes Firebase a moment to figure out whether or not our user is currently signed in. And that's why we see that login form appear on the screen for half a second. So obviously that is not ideal behavior. So I think that it would be really nice to show a spinner on the screen but all the way until we know whether or not the user like for sure is signed in or signed out. Now there's just one small issue here, just one small kind of nasty issue. At present, we've got a logged in flag, right? And logged in is either flipping between true or false. And we're defaulting our logged in state to be false. So by default, we're assuming, hey, you're not logged in. And if you're not logged in, boom, you see the login form. So in fact, we really need three states here. We need a state in which we don't know if you're logged in, a state in which you're definitely not logged in, and a state in which, yeah, you're definitely logged in. So three different states. To handle this, I'm going to suggest that we flip the initial value of logged in to null instead of false. And so null right here represents, hey, we just, I don't know if you're logged in. I've got no idea. I don't want to say you're not. You know, I don't want to say false. Like for sure you're not, but I also don't want to say you're true, obviously. So instead, we'll place null in here. And null kind of has the connotation of the idea of, I just don't know it, what this should be yet. Like I don't know if you're signed in. So now we can update our render content method right here to handle this additional case of what the value of this.state.loggedIn is. So now we need to handle the case in which uh, this.state.loggedIn is true, false, or null. Okay, so we got three different cases now. To handle this, I think that uh, using a bunch of if-else statements would be a little bit messy. So instead, I'm going to refactor this to use a switch statement. 
So I'm gonna add a little space in here and we will switch over the value of this.state.logged in. Now inside of here, we'll have a couple different cases. We'll have the case in which it is true, like, yep, you're logged in. We'll have the case in which false, which is, nope, you're definitely not logged in. And a default case, which is really gonna handle when this.state.logged in is null. So that's gonna be the purpose of default. So now inside of here, I'm going to just copy paste up the login form tag. So I'm gonna cut this thing out. And if the user is not logged in, so false, I wanna show the login form. If the user is logged in, then I wanna show my button tag that allows them to log out. And now I can delete this if statement. And then finally, in the default case, I wanna show the user a spinner. So I'll show a spinner instead. And I probably want this to be a nice big spinner, so I'm gonna show it with a size of large. We also need to make sure that we import the spinner. So I'm going to make sure that I import spinner from our common directory. So inside of here, we'll get our spinner. All right, so I think we're in a great spot now. We're handling the three different cases of our application. The case in which you're logged in, the case in which you're logged out, and the case in which we just don't know yet. So let's now test this out inside the simulator. I'll refresh, and I get that spinner on the screen for just half a second, which is a much nicer experience than showing the user that login form right away. You'll notice that uh, you know, it'd be kind of nice if the spinner was a little bit more centered on the screen overall. Uh, I'm gonna allow that to be kind of a self-directed exercise. So if you want, you could wrap the spinner right here with a view tag and use that view tag to uh, center it on the screen overall, as opposed to just letting it kind of butt up against the top here. Okay, so this looks fantastic. I think we're making great progress. The last thing we have to do for authentication is be able to log the user out by clicking the button right here. So let's take care of that implementation in the next section.